Right, I am back again. Apologies for vanishing on you all for a while. I have been crazy, crazy, crazy busy with family and problems and dog tags and just a whole world of nonsense. Um, I will try and get back to making regular videos as quickly as I can. Now, I did just make this video two seconds ago, but my microphone didn't work, so I had to stop. So you'll sort of see this what is it? Oh, sort of like an unboxing video, I think YouTube would call them. So it's already out of the packaging because I started, realised the mic wasn't working, now I've started all over again. So, I have picked up a Soldier of Fortune. Uh, great, uh, great coat, what am I talking about? It's not a great coat, what an idiot. It's a raincoat. And if I shrink me down, oh, not like that. Bom, 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 there we go, stick me over there. It's one of these jobbies. So, M1938 Dismounted Raincoat by K Canvas, or Soft, as we know them, Soldier of Fortune. So, <clears throat> now, when you get this, you'll notice a slight, slight smell coming from the, the packaging, which is, you know, as I said, I just did this two seconds ago. Um, and it's very faint, but it's very peculiar. It's like a combination of... Um, a mechanics workshop that have too many tires and piss. I mean, that's the only way I can describe the smell. It's very, very odd. Then you open the packet and yeah, it's it's not a great smell. It will obviously air out and just leave it outside. And as soon as you start sleeping near bonfires and things, it will soon change its smell. But it does have a peculiar smell. But then again, it's rubber. It's treated rubber, it will smell. I don't think there's much you can really do about it. Um, although synthetic rubber really. So it's it looks it looks good as an overall view. Um, let me let me shift myself around so I'm a bit more. So the stitches are fairly big. They could have been a bit a bit smaller, but without an original one to compare, we can't really tell. Um, the seams. The top seam, the collar seam, seems stuck down well. Um, you know, the buttons are quite nice. Um, the eyelets are a bit funky looking. They aren't really cut out at all. See the end where there should be like a hole. It has like a... Let me just see if I can stretch it. It has the material where there should be a hole still still present. Um, so the, uh, the eyelets... They aren't aren't great, but oh, in fact that I look. If you see, oh, I don't know if you can see or not. Yeah, there's a space just above my finger there, where it's not. There's no. It's not been sewn. There's just a, there's just a gap. So the bit that stops it from ripping is isn't present. Oh, and we have half a button on the back. Oh, well, that's not very good, is it? Okay, so eyelets aren't great broken button on the back yeah, those, yeah these eyelets could be a real negative on this actually i have a bad feeling about them uh, the rubber bonding all seems to be stuck down very well though it's okay well for the material side of it is very it's very good yeah i'm it has a nice really rugged feel to it because some of those original raincoats when you see them and touch them they feel so fragile well because they're really old um but you think the old ones you just don't understand how they'd ever last <clears throat> but this does have a very solid solid feel to it so on the inside you have an inside pocket which goes into there which is well that's actually it feels strong and it's actually really big and as we stuck down any of these parts? No. Good. Yeah, that's. That's there. That, okay. <clears throat> and then that's the pocket which goes through so you can get from the inside to the outside. Yeah, okay. So the bonding between the two pieces seems really good. Obviously, that will have to be seen over time whether it holds up or not. Because things like you know glue dries out depending on how where you keep. Obviously, you don't store this anywhere really hot um, or anywhere really cold because it will become brittle and it will fall apart. 
Okay, the vent holes are nice, nice and big. One thing about these, you will sweat in them. Even if it's bucket pissing, you know, pissing buckets or bucketing down, whatever you want to call rain. <laughs> I know, I'm not a linguist. I just write the books. Um, you will sweat wearing one of these. Yeah, uh, that, yeah, I like that. That's, that's a nice touch. <clears throat> they're, a, they're a good, good size. Some of the vent holes you see on some 42 jackets and things, they're just tiny. You think that's not even going to do anything. There's no, there's no actual hole. It's almost like a, just a decorative hole. And then on the inside, you have the vent holes which go to the flap on the back. So the flap on the back, lift up. And it will then go through to let all the heat from the back out. <clears throat> yeah, they, okay. Nice. Nice. Um, <clears throat> so, on Soft's website, it does say, um, in, jo in, in George, no it doesn't, in general, if you order your normal coat size, there will be enough space to wear the rain coat over something like a tanker's jacket. Now the key word there for me is in general. It doesn't really have much confidence in, in words like that. I think they need to be a bit bolder and say, order your normal coat size. Um, I take a 42 combat jacket. Obviously this would go over a vest, a shirt, the 42 jacket with all the crap stuff in the pockets. So it needs to be fairly big. I've ordered this in a 42 to see what we get. If it's too small, my son can have it. If it's too big, then somebody else can have it. <clears throat> so let's see what we get. Let me step back away from the Oh, let's make me bigger so you can see. Sorry. Let's zoom that in. Okay. Obviously, we've got a big thick fleece on, but then it's probably roughly about the same sort of size as a vest, a shirt, and a combat jacket. Oh, okay, the arms are a good length. Yeah, even. Even rucked up, they're still at the cuff. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Um, anyone who will get in here with me? That's actually. Let me let me demonstrate with the mannequin. I can almost get all the way around. Ah! Yeah, there's webbing all over the floor. Um, but that's not a bad thing. You want some room in there, definitely, because otherwise you're just going to sweat. You do want some space and some air. So maybe a touch on the roomy side but I'd rather it be a touch bigger than a touch too tight <clears throat> all right let's what's the chances of being able to do it up so that would be there that would be there let's see if we can do a button up because I really don't like these eye, the ice holes what the hell Are we, what Are you kidding me what the um okay I See a. Oh, I see a. Okay, we'll try and do that when it's off. Let me just pick a different one in case it's just that one. Or if they're all like it. Are you having a laugh? Pah, what? Okay, I see a slight problem here. <clears throat> oh, it goes on the bottom. Uh, let's see. Yeah, see that snagging and pulling. Okay, well, it's a good fit. It's a good size. <clears throat> the only, the prob only problem is you can't do it up. Why Why do the buttons not do up? Oh, soft, what have you done? Right, let's, let's start with the very, very top button. I know you probably can't see much of this. And I'm sorry if all you can hear is rustle, 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 rustle. It's quite loud. So... The button is, the holes are just not big enough. I think we get it undone, aren't it? What? Mm, yeah, this style, oh, this is such a shame. What is going on? Honestly, oh, this is... <laughs> what the? I swear this isn't me. I do know how buttons work. What is going on? 
I don't know. I think, I think Ben's, yeah, Ben's just put one in the group. I'll have to ask him if his is the same. Um, well, Ben, if you see this, can you write in the comments if your buttons are the same? Because honestly, I can't, I can't get this done up. Oh, you are... Oh, no, there's no, right, let's try a different one. Well, this is exciting viewing, I'm sorry. Um, right, let's try the next button. For the top one, I probably wouldn't do it anyway, but the, the next one you'd have to. Oh, you what? Oh, there we go. Wow, okay. I mean, that took a hell of a lot of force, right? So I got it, popped it out easy. Will it go back in easy? Right, okay, so they take some stretching out, I take it. Okay, so that now goes in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. <laughs> um, but wow, that seriously, seriously. God, this reminds me of that fucking radio thing from those idiots at uh, World War II Impressions who don't give a fuck. Although I know self do actually do do care about their products they are trying to improve massively on on the stuff that they have uh the raincoat's one of them and things like the underwear as well they they are coming up to a a much much higher standard of kit oh, okay so okay so the buttons will go in they do take some <laughs> serious work as you can see by my expression it looks like i'm having a shit oh right so yeah you, right okay so what about the top one though that oh, god i've got dents in my thumbs um they do take some work they will go in and once you've worn the hole open it will go in and out a lot easier <clears throat> okay it, should you be have to do that no not really um what else oh god the label's horrific now, this is one of my bugbears. I mean, there is the label. It's all modern, out of the box, stock fonts. And it doesn't look anything like an original label. Not really. It's the same layout, just with modern fonts and garbage on it. It would take five to ten minutes to copy the exact fonts and layout of an original label. And make it look like one. I mean, the QMI one's just as bad. It's the labels these guys, these companies put on things, are just, they're just, well, the only word is right is they're crap. Um, you could seriously produce a stunning looking label in less than 10 minutes. Um, I mean, I know, because I, I design things on um, Coral Draw and things like that. It, it's so, so, so easy to do. Mind you, if you look at so, <laughs> um, yeah, oh, I'm going to so now start. I might as well finish. If you look at Soldier of Fortune's latest catalogue and play Hunt the Mistakes, there are far too many. It's embarrassing. I mean, what's an unform? I assume they mean uniform. That's on there a couple of times. And my favourite being the Repilka helmet, not replica. Some things are pluralised, some things aren't. There's no continuity. There's some things have full stops, other things don't. It's just a bit of a shambles, really. It's such a shame. Um, it, you, it's such a mixed bag with Sof. I mean, things things like the raincoat. You know, they are they're going up. They really are going up to a, a high standard of, of a reenacting living history kit. Then you see some of their webbing and some of the you know the just nonsense items like the leg straps and things. What what are you what are you what do you want to be? Do you want to be up here? Or do you want to be down here? What this I don't know, it's it's a real it's a real mixture. Or maybe that's what they're trying to do with the whole K canvas thing versus Soldier of Fortune. Maybe one is the premium range and and one is the Tesco's blue and white lager cans. Um un, unsure and I d I don't know if they have a plan and or if I've just stumbled across something for them. Um, so yeah, the, the labels, yeah, the label could really do with being sorted out. Um, okay, I need to sneeze. Oh, for God's sake. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Uh, so I take a 42 jacket, as I said. Now, one little, one little touch I do like 
is the fact that it's been stamped. Oh, you can't see where. There we go. Several times there's 242s at the top. They were stamped each other and a nice clear one underneath. Now, loads of modern, not modern, original kit gets stamped several ways like that, especially when you see like the CS, the combat serviceable stamps and things like that. And no combat serviceable has nothing to do with Soldier of Fortune. CS gets marked on kit once it's been back through the system. And it's either marked CS for can be reused or it's, you know, written off and usually destroyed. Otherwise, the odd bits do come up for sale that's, you know, got things written all over it, you know, do not issue, scrap, things like that. Every now and again, you'll see something. Uh, if we have a quick look on QMI, because I have it open, uh, we can have a look at their raincoat. Okay, so it's, does that enlarge? Oh no, we can do, oh really? Ah, there we go, that's what I wanted it to do. Hey, thank you, go away. Oh, that doesn't zoom in, okay, fine. What, I can't see the next picture. Oh, for God, what kind of shit is this? Why can't I flick through them? Ah, next, okay. Um, so they have much better sizing measurements. Yeah, see, that's good. You get an idea of exactly what you need. Yeah, soft, yeah, you should definitely take something like that and adapt it to your measurements of your jackets because it's one of those things you see it on the website and it says, in general, you should order this. But what's in general? Um, with that, you can go, right, okay, I need it to be or my jacket sleeves are, and uh, un un compare. Yeah, nice. Um, okay, so the collars are very different. Uh, them, theirs comes to a, a quite of a sharp point, as soft as is, it's actually quite rounded at the tip. The colour, although we're looking at a monitor, so the colour could be slightly different, but this this is a, is a real nice colour. That looks a bit, well, grey and sort of washed out really there yeah, the vent holes are quite small yeah pockets fine uh, and again an ugly label the inside almost looks like plastic that's yeah that's not as nice yeah it looks like a vinyl and again what is this monstrosity i mean it just looks like like some child Draw it, drew it, blah, 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 laid it out in like something like Word. It, it, that's just where's why it, all these companies are using modern fonts. It's just it's pure laziness. It really is. That looks like it's been like two stamps separated with a perforated edge. Yeah, that looks. Hmm. Hey, the rivets. This doesn't have rivets. Um, if you look, there's you know there's no. No rivets. Um, I know there's a couple of different types of raincoats, so maybe this is a different type, or that just he copied one that had rivets made put on there by a different manufacturer. I don't know. Buttons are very brown as well. And again, that rear back flap with the vent holes underneath. Yeah, I mean, I think QMI's raincoat has been the number one on the market for for quite a long time. And if I'm honest, I think. As long as the soft one holds up to being used, it's not going to fall apart when you keep it in a bag or whether it gets wet or if you store it. As long as it holds up to being used, I think this will become one of the best on the market. Um, I think it has the edge over QMI's. QMI's is a little bit cheaper. I think it's 100, is it 110 euros. Yeah, 110 euros. Do they actually have them in stock? Because normally whenever I look on here, everything's out of stock. Size T-H-E. What the hell is T-H-E? Yeah, they seem to have everything in stock. Okay. Um, so it's a bit more money, but then you've got to get it shipped over. So you're probably talking about 20 quid cheaper from QMI, roughly, at a guess. But the, don't like the colour. It looks very vinyl -y. The vent holes are smaller. The label's equally as shit. Um, you will get the fit you want because the information's there. But I prefer this as long as it's going to hold up, which is, of course, it's all un this is untested. This is untested at the moment. Nobody knows how well this is going to stay together and how well it's going to it's going to hold up in the field. 
obviously the broken button thing is annoying the missing part of the eye hole is annoying the thread you know the piece that stops that from ripping all the way up the jacket and getting the button through the holes is <sighs> gonna be fun obviously I've done two and I've got three more to work and my thumb is already hurt but it's a good-looking thing and how often do we stand out in the rain in these things you know not as often as we should um, yeah, I, I'm not going to say blown away because those little errors are just like a bit a bit niggly, um, but it's still good. Should those errors be there? No, not really. But I think these are quite new to Soldier Fortune. I'm not sure when they started stocking these, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm I'm quite impressed. It's taken a while to get a fabric and colour that was the same as the original. Yeah, and, and that's what I like about it. The colour's lovely. Yeah, and, and the fact the fabric, it looks like an original. The QMI one looks a bit plasticky inside. It, it Yeah, it, so it was certainly the best. It was the best. I think this will overtake it. I think more people see this being used, being worn. I, th I think Soft will sell a lot of these. Unless they all start falling apart in a few months' time, and in which case that will be bad. So, I have a whole. Well, I say a whole. I have a couple of other videos planned. Let's just throw that over him. There we go. Um, the next one will be on who you are. And I don't mean who you are, I mean the unit you are in. Each unit has different identifiers, it has different markings. From the 501, 502, 506, everything from even the, the stuff they put on their face that everybody seems to like to do. There are differences between 501, 502 and 506. Nothing is difficult about any of this. It's just that extra level of attention to detail. Uh, I mean, cutting up a, a white t-shirt and having a, a strap around your arm or on the top of your helmet or painting a white dot on your helmet. It's easy, easy, easy stuff. But it takes you from sort of, you know, here to up here in a couple of couple of easy simple steps um when i'm gonna get a chance to do this i don't know i wanted to do it last week and i've just been so 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 busy um i probably will be dashing backwards and forwards to oxford quite a lot so that's going to eat up my time because my dad isn't well so I will have to play it by ear and I won't, I'm not even going to try and hazard a guess at when I'll get it done. But I can probably do a couple of other bits and pieces in the meantime. That will take a bit more thought. Although a lot of it is written up for a book we're working on. So I can just literally read the <laughs> draft copy of the book from the screen. Um, after all, I wrote it. Um, so, yeah, it's a good raincoat. What more can I say? Right, until next time. Laters.